Is your take right now with the market conditions that we're in that this is a bear market rally? Are we still in a bear market? Do we have more to fear coming up or are we finally hitting the turn? That, uh, that's a very treacherous question. Uh, the consensus is that we're in a bear market rally and the consensus is almost always wrong. In this case, I think the consensus, we are in a bear market and what we're seeing is either a, a relief moment, which we've seen for the last week or two, or a re relief rally that's going to trap and trick people into coming back into the market. Um, I do think we are in a bear market that lower prices are likely to come uh, uh, during the remainder of the year, although there is going to be something of a, uh, again, treacherous, deceptive relief rally in the uh, days and weeks just ahead. So let me ask you this, in regards to, you know, the market and the uncertainty right now and, and everybody wondering, you know, the Fed kind of came out already and said, yo, we messed up, right? So does, at this point in time, does the Fed have any credibility left? Is that still is what creating this volatility is? You have these two camps where people are still very much behind Powell and others saying they've completely lost it. Uh, I think the Fed has cred credibility and they've got, they've got a big, uh, uh, club in their hand, and they're going to use it. Um, they are going to stamp out inflation, and that is going to cause interest rates to be higher, and it's going to slow down the economy. But it, it, they they do serve the greater good in doing that. Inflation robs everybody. It robs poor people. It robs rich people. It robs businesses. It, it robs the nation. And so you've got to curtail that. Uh, and if the cost of it is uh, one to two to three percent growth rather than four or five percent growth, it's an acceptable cost. The Fed has said what it's going to do and they will follow through with it, I think. Yeah. So here are my notes. You you have investors should be raising cash. This is directly from you. So can you walk us through what you mean, how much of the allocation should be going to cash? Because I'm just wondering because there's others out in the market saying cash is still trash. Uh, Cash over the long term is trash, but over the short term, the the stock market risk in being too heavily invested compared to the cost of inflation over the short term, uh, diminishing the purchasing power of cash is a trade off in favor of cash. I think people should have five to twenty percent cash in their portfolios as a risk mitigant, and again as a pop that they can use to get back into stocks in a bigger way uh, in three to six months. Watch the full episode on SeekingAlpha.com. Just search for the Weekend Bite in the search bar at the top of the homepage.